Key West. Our Derek Shore is there to show us how some people have decided to actually brave Irma's wrath. But at least, Derek, you have found for once most people down in the Hardy Keys are really leaving. Yeah, it's really a mixed bag down here. I speak to some people who say they are not joking around and they are getting out. Others who say they will stay and have stayed for every other storm, even though this one is incredibly strong. What they are doing is boarding up plenty of downtown Key West. The message from city leaders, from county leaders, get out, follow the mandatory evacuation and do it now. Gas lines tonight in Key West, some stocking up to get out. I can't fight it anymore. I really can't. It's, there's nothing you can do in the middle of the night when the storm hits you really, really hard. But many others deciding to ignore the evacuation order and ride it out. We Key West conks, man. We crawl up in our shell and we hang on, brother. We're used to, we're used to this kind of weather. Earlier, down on Duval Street, business owners hard at work scrambling to protect their businesses, moving merchandise in the event of flooding and boarding up. It's our livelihood here, you know, for me and all of our employees here as well. So, you know, there's a little bit of labor of love here. You know, we got to protect the mother. With the evacuation order in place, many are deciding to take their chances. Lower Keys Medical Center, however, will be closed as of tomorrow morning. They've already air vacked out patients to other hospitals. The mayor of Key West says there's no messing around. I evacuate if possible. If you stay here, the hospital will be closed. We'll have minimal amount of uh, emergency service. Local DJ Louis C. Rock says Key West will continue to thrive no matter what. The show must go on. We, uh, we're the best uh, people living and cleaning up a city uh, when a hurricane happens. And a lot of people out here obviously very concerned about the image of Key West in wake of this hurricane as it approaches. A lot of them relying on tourism dollars, so they want to get that message out that they will quickly rebuild or at least repair whatever damage is caused uh, by this hurricane, and they will get back to normal as soon as possible, and people then can come back down here and enjoy the beautiful Keys. As for now, that mandatory evacuation does remain in effect, and that should be adhered to according to the mayor. And Derek, that transport of 13 patients out of the hospital down there, that, that was what, a C-130 from North Carolina. They were bringing in their National Guard. That was a huge effort. Yeah, that was a huge operation coming from the Lower Keys Medical Center, and we we're told they were actually transferred to a regional medical center in Alabama to make sure they are out of the path of Irma. And those were the critical care patients. All the other patients, we were told today, some of them were actually transferred to Mount Sinai, according to a helicopter pilot I spoke to, and uh, they may now have to be transferred again. But those critical care patients, 13 of them, were told, were brought up to Alabama in a very large uh, Army plane.